Another fun activity we can do with kids involves bugs. Every kid loves bugs. And every kid loves sucking bugs when they get this activity. All you need is some kind of a clear container because when you suck up the bugs, they're gonna end up in your viewing chamber, so it needs to be clear. And you can use pretty much anything that has a good solid seal. So like this is an old pimento cheese container. This is an old film strip container. People can use prescription bottles, whatever they want. And then you need to drill two holes in the top and they, they're about a quarter inch and that's for the tubing to go in. And you can use an ice pick if you don't have a drill. That is definitely something you want adult supervision with though. Now to make your bug sucker, you need two pieces that are about six to 10 inches long of aquarium tubing, just your standard aquarium tubing that you can get by the three or 25 feet at your average store. So what you need to do, put one piece of tubing in each hole and it should fit pretty snugly if it doesn't you can add modeling clay around it just to seal the gaps because you got to create a vacuum just put about an inch through on each side and what you're going to do is you're going to suck on one tube and vacuum up with the other so since you don't want bugs in your mouth you get a little piece of cheesecloth and you put it just on one of these piece of these little tubes. So I just use a piece of masking tape to hold it on there. You don't want to put it on both or then you'll have bugs stuck in one of the straws. So the one that you're going to suck on, tape a piece of cheesecloth over it. That way the bugs will, will get sucked up into the jar but not get sucked up into your lungs. And you put it back together so it's got a good seal. And then you can suck up any bug that would fit into the end of the tube. So don't try to go sucking up a big bee or anything. But you can suck up ants and small beetles and aphids and stuff like that. So for practice, I have some practice maggots, otherwise known as rice. And you just suck on it. And then you can see they end up inside the little container. And if there were really bugs moving around, you could see them and hold them and look at them without having to touch them. So if you have trouble with aphids or any kind of little animal you don't want in your garden, turn your kids loose with a few of these and you'll have that solved in no time. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.